The statisticians call it money distress. We call it debt. And the statistics are coming at us fast. Nine million more of us have borrowed since the pandemic, a figure that's rising daily. The average Brit is paying £857 a year on interest payments alone. It will take us 25 years and five months to pay off our debt, and that's if we keep up with the payments. One person is declared bankrupt every four minutes and 13 seconds. Our finances are bleak, but they don't have to be. Expert Martin James says he has the answer, and it involves wine. The most important thing to do is to sit down and actually work out what those finances are. Have a glass of wine if you want, just maybe just the one, just until you've done it, or have one on standby as a reward when you've finished, or make yourself a cup of tea. Just try to make it as relaxing as possible. And work out exactly what you owe and to whom. Sobering, perhaps. Necessary, certainly. But then what? Step Change is a charity that last year helped nearly 25,000 people become debt-free. Their first job, to take away the stigma and put you at your ease. Our overwhelming message is always that people shouldn't suffer in silence. A lot of the time, people are too embarrassed to talk about their money problems. They're worried that there's no help out there, that they might be a hopeless case. And that's never the case at all. Everyone can become debt-free, says the organisation. But how? Step one, talk. Tell your creditors what's happening, whether it be a credit card, an energy supplier or a phone company. You'll get a sympathetic hearing. Step two, contact Step Change. They will then negotiate with the, your creditors, the people that you owe the money to, to get significantly reduced payments. I mean, it can go down to like two quid a month. Step Change says bringing your debts into sharper focus is the first step in regaining control. They can offer all sorts of support and advice, and most importantly, a listening ear. Plus, the organisation has the heft to be able to champion for a change in the law on behalf of consumers. Which is why we spend a lot of time as an organisation advocating for public policy changes so that the benefit system, for example, means that people aren't living in destitution and absolute poverty, and it means that they can make ends meet. Making ends meet might not sound the most aspirational of goals, but for millions of us in these current climes, making ends meet is the biggest goal of all. Jeff Moody, GB News. What a brilliant, calm and considered offering on that. Now, none of us here, whether it's Jeff, me or Liam Halligan, are pretending that, that there is an answer other ultimately than earning more than you have to pay out. It's the Mr. McCorber lesson from, from Charles Dickens, which is well worth looking up. But the two standout points there, Jeff, were to know exactly where you are and not panic and pull your hair out without doing the sums. And then, for God's sake, put your hand up and talk to someone who knows what you're entitled to do and what help there really is out there. Yes, absolutely. And, and another piece of advice that I didn't have time to include in that report, but I think is very well worth mentioning now, is whatever you do, don't Google. If you start Googling debt management, ways out of debt, I owe money, etc., etc., you're going to end up looking at all sorts of sites that really is best to avoid. Don't start going down the, the loan shark route mm. or anything like that. Step change is the place you need to go to. The website is stepchange.org. Um, Alistair, I, I can talk from personal experience on this because it's something that I did um, about 15 or 16 years ago. Um, I rather foolishly decided to give up television and um, I bought a farm in Kent and turned it into a hotel and a restaurant and a wedding venue. And it did very well for uh, quite some time until the credit crunch in 2008 mm. and that deep recession that followed. And to cut a long story short, the business went bust. I found myself with no job, with no home, with no salary, with no money. And I very foolishly put a lot of money onto credit cards. It was something getting on for £100,000 on credit cards. So that initial step, I will never forget the day that I phoned Step Change. And it's a bit like that moment when you say, Hello, my name is Jeff Moody. I'm an alcoholic. It's mm. that that admission that there's something going on um, is a huge weight off your mind. And just having step change saying to me, you know what, we can fix this. We have your back 
is extremely important and extremely emotional too. How did they have my back? How did they fix it? Well, the first thing they do, as I said in the report, is they, they get you to write down everything you owe. And this is very difficult these days because it's not as simple as looking at your direct debits and your standing orders because we pay for things on phones, and on PayPal, on all sorts of internet sites. So it's quite a process that they help you through. Once they've done that, they then give you, um, they then give you a report and you can negotiate with your creditors. You can either say, look, I want to reduce those monthly payments to one or two pounds a month, or you can also reduce the whole amount. So say, for instance, you owe 10,000 pounds on a credit card. You can say to these companies, I will never be able to pay that. I will be able to pay five grand, four grand, three grand. And very often they'll accept that. They accepted it for me. Here I am debt free.